what do you think is the meaning of this whole thing we have here? Uh, of human civilization, of life on earth, but in general, just life. What's the meaning of life? See. Have you, did you read uh, Novacine yet? By James Lovelock? You're doing a lot of really good book recommendations here. I haven't even finished this, so I'm a huge fraud yet again. Um, but like really early in the book, um, he says this amazing thing. Like, I feel like everyone's so sad and cynical. Like everyone's like the Fermi paradox and everyone, I just keep hearing people being like, fuck, like, what if we're alone? Like, oh no, ah, like, ah, ah. And, and I'm like, okay, but like, wait, what if this is the beginning? Like in Novacine, he says, um, I'm, this is not going to be a correct, I, I can't like memorize quotes, but uh, he says, says something like, um, uh, what if our consciousness, like right now, like this is the universe waking up. Like, what if instead of discovering the universe, this is the universe, like, this is the evolution of the little literal universe herself. Like, we are not separate from the universe. Like, this is the universe waking up. This is the universe seeing herself for the first time. Like, this is... Um, the universe becoming conscious for yeah, the first time and we're part of that. Yeah, because it's like, we aren't separate from the universe. Like, like this could be a, like an incredibly sacred moment. And maybe like social media and all these things... The, the stuff where we're all getting connected together like maybe this these are the neurons connecting of the like collective super intelligence that is you know waking up the the yeah like like you know it's like maybe instead of something cynical or maybe if there's something to discover like maybe this is just you know we're a blastocyst of of like some incredible kind of consciousness or, or being and just like in the first three years of life for, for human children, we'll forget about all the suffering that we're going through now. I think we'll probably forget about this. I mean, probably, you know, artificial intelligence will eventually render us obsolete. I don't think they'll do it in a um, malicious way, but I think probably we are very weak. The sun is expanding. Like, I don't know, like, hopefully we can get to Mars, but like, we're, we're pretty vulnerable. And I, I you know, like, I think we can coexist for a long time with AI and uh, we can also probably make ourselves less vulnerable, but you know, I just think, um, consciousness, sentience, self-awareness, like, I think this might be the single greatest like moment in evolution ever. And like, maybe this is, you know, the, be like the, true beginning of 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 life and we're just we're we're, we're the blue green algae or we're like the, we're, we're like the <laughs> yeah. single-celled organisms of of yeah. something amazing the universe awakens and this is this is it yeah well uh see you're an incredible pe person you're a fascinating mind um you should definitely do your friend Liv mentioned that you guys were thinking of maybe talking i would love it if you um explored your mind in this kind of medium more and more by doing a podcast with her or just in any kind of way so you're you're an awesome person. It's an honor to know you. It's an honor to get to sit down with you late at night, which is like surreal. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you for talking today. Yeah, no, I mean, huge honor. I feel very underqualified to be here, but I'm a big fan. I've been listening to the podcast a lot. And yeah, me and Liv would appreciate any advice and help. And we're definitely going to do that. So um, uh, yeah. Anytime. Thank you. Cool. Thank yeah. you.